sing J-pop and death metal covered for idol. You have any idea? Yes, I'm talking about Lady Bird. It's Lady Bird. Hey, Coral Cosplay, let you know this. Ah, is there you go. What is the origin of your name, Lady Bird? Um, so Lady Bird is an interesting story, actually. So I started my career in Hong Kong. So I, so I used to live in Hong Kong and I was speaking Cantonese. And so first of all, I came up with the name in Cantonese, Wu Sol Lo, which literally Wu Sol means beard and Lo means girl, right? So this got it, beard girl. I came up with, and I think I then came up with the English name Lady Beard. So, um, yeah, that's that. Kind of that. Well, that's right. It's the same thing, really, except the you know the the elements reversed in the different languages. In Cantonese, it's beard girl, and then in English, it's lady beard. So. It's mm. more as simple, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's funny actually because at the start of my career, I gave myself a different name in every language. Then I realized that that was bad branding because then <laughs> I couldn't consolidate anything at all. But so then I cut it all. Very catchy. So. Oh, thank you very much. Look, like, that's right. I picked only the English name. <laughs> Career. How was your favorite month? Uh, you know, I think um, favorite moment was when I first kind of got my first Twitter break in Japan in 2014 because I started this career in 2009 in Hong Kong and there was, I haven't really told this story yet, but there was a whole lot of kind of, you know, working through a lot of hard work and setbacks and failure at the start in Hong Kong then kind of going to Japan for the first time and having that go well and saying, okay, well, I'm gonna move there. But then that process got slowed down because I had to stay in Hong Kong longer than I expected. So when I finally got to Japan, and also like when you first move to Japan, there's a lot of unforeseen challenges because Japan's so different from everywhere else. There's all these yeah. challenges you just don't expect. Like I'd moved to Hong Kong and the Philippines before and yeah, I'd figured things out. But moving to Japan was a totally different challenge because their systems are so different from everyone else's systems. Yeah. So their banking systems, their government systems, everything's different, which means you arrive and suddenly you have these brand new challenges like, you know, I've had, had money in my bank account that I had saved up as my Japan money and now suddenly I can't access it because the ATM system's so different. And you're like, what? So you look in your wallet and you've got 20 bucks in your wallet and you're like, what the f what do I do? You know, so. Fly, fly, fly. Well, that's why you go and you borrow money from people until you can figure it out. So there's, there's all these kind of dramas, right? Especially at the start in Japan. So when I first got my, um, like, kind of initial Twitter break, that was kind of the. the finally! Moment. You know, the finally! Moment. It's been <laughs> worth it. Because up until that point, you're just working on faith. You're just working on, all right, I think this is going to go well. I think this is going to go well. I think this is going to go well. But until you actually have it go well. But the moments appear. That's right. So that's a beautiful thing when you work and work and work for it and then finally it happens. Yeah, that's really, yeah, a, yeah. that's right. So that, I think that's probably my favorite moment. Oh. Of my career. Um, talking about costume, mm. what motivates you to do that Johnny costume? So, By the way, don't Oh, <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. Wow, you're lovely. Thank you very much. Um, the Chun Li one is my favorite one, hands down, my favorite cosplay that I've done. And so um, there was two things. Uh, firstly, I've you know played Street Fighter since I was a kid, and I loved Street Fighter. Um, so at the time we did that, they were releasing Street Fighter Five, and so we kind of you know it's been our experience that the best time to do a cosplay is when it's being re-released, when the series is being released. So we did Sailor Moon when the new Sailor Moon series got released. I love. Yeah, it's exactly. Everyone loves Sailor Moon, right? So the new series got released, we did the Sailor Moon cosplay. Um, when Street Fighter V got released, we did the Chun Li cosplay. And that tends to be the best way to do it because everyone's already on the internet searching for the, the uh, franchise already. So it was kind of the timing was right. And I, you know, I've loved Chun Li since I was a kid. Um, and like you say, I kind of have the appropriate legs to do Chun Li, so it was always something we wanted to do. Yeah. That's right. And so it was kind of a case of the stars just aligned at the time. We had, you know, we had the resources in the right place to do it. We had, you know, the timing was right for the Street Fighter V release. Um, also, I was really excited about the Street Fighter V release too. So to be able to, you know, kind of be involved with that was really special. Um, so it was just sort of a, a, a case of the elements coming together perfectly, which enabled us to do it.
Tell us about your new group, Dev. Oh my god, Dev's Lolita, it's fantastic. I'm so excited about this group, this is fantastic. So, my group mate, um, uh, Reika Saiki, yeah. basically, she's a female Japanese version of me. So so, she's very cute, isn't she? Yeah, so, she's so cute. So same, does the same thing as me. She combines being strong and being cute. Um, <laughs> uh, we, the two of us, get on extremely well. Uh, which is fantastic, and we're really, really proud of and happy with the work that we're creating. So, we kind of have a mission to um, make everyone around the world genki, and at the same time, pump everybody up, encourage everybody to hit the gym, get healthy, and so it is a cause worth supporting. So, Deadlift Lolita 2017, you know what I'm saying? Good times. I want the support for that. So, finally, do you have any messages for your cause the cosplay fans? Uh, I would say everybody, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate your support. I'm very happy to be here in Peru. I hope I can come back and do more awesome stuff for you guys soon.